A to 4 calling out my sister's fiance when I recognized the engagement ring he proposed with was fake. This is an ongoing mess that continues to haunt me. My 22F sister Hannah 25F is newly engaged to her BF of many years Ben 25. Ben and Hannah are high school sweethearts. He's the only boyfriend she's ever had, so she tends to take his word as the gospel truth. But I've always been suspicious of Ben, as I tend to be of all people to be fair. Hannah and I have very different worldviews. I've had quite a few boyfriends and one girlfriend. I believe in intimate freedom and exploring yourself and your sexuality. Hannah only knows Ben. Anyway we had a small gathering of family round at my sister's house for a BBQ in the garden. During the BBQ Ben got down on one knee and proposed. At first I was super excited for them, but then I saw the ring and I'd seen this ring before, call it divine intervention, but I'd seen this ring a few months back on Etsy. Hannah had hinted that her and Ben were discussing tying the knot and we discussed rings at length. I went online to search for the type of rings she said she was interested in and happened across a very unique and pretty ring on Etsy, but it had a fake middle stone. I pointy lab created diamond set between two tiny opal colored stones. The band was really dainty, but kind of intertwined around in a teeny rope. So as soon as I saw the ring I recognized it. The going rule for engagement rings as everyone knows is that they are supposed to last forever and be at least 3 to 4 months pay. Ben works a good paying job, but brings in slightly less than Hannah. 4 months wages for him would be at least 8 to 10k at an estimate. I know for a fact this particular ring is $450. I wanted until the proposal was over and asked Ben and Hannah for a quiet word but this has the opposite effect as I was overhead by another family, so I decided to just come out with it. I told Hannah that I had seen her ring online and that it wasn't a real diamond or even expensive. I accused Ben of trying to cheap out on one of the most important gifts of her entire life. And this was a huge mistake. Hannah burst into tears and informed me that she had given Ben a maximum budget of $400 and that she didn't want a real diamond. I was completely shocked that she would request this and was pretty certain she was just covering for Ben. But she doubled down and said that she has so far lost every single piece of jewelry she's bought and that she wanted to buy something that won't be a devastating loss if she loses it. She also claimed that they both wanted a long and expensive honeymoon instead of a big wedding. By this point Hannah was crying loudly and I decided I best leave. I thought I was doing my sister a sisterly duty by pointing out the fake ring and my entire family have in turn called me an idiot. But I honestly think I was just trying to help her. Ata, this did comments. Ita, your sister and her fiancé sound like reasonable people. The idea of spending several months pay on a wedding ring is a marketing scheme created by the companies selling the rings to get gullible idiots to buy more expensive jewelry. Most people don't fall for it. The important part of the engagement is the commitment to each other, not the jewelry. It sounds like your sister and fiancé get that. Maybe someday, if you're lucky, you'll find someone more important to you than jewelry. Itta. I was waiting to see what awful thing Ben would do, and I cannot believe what I just read. Not everyone needs to buy a ring worth 3 to 4 months pay. You literally found the ring when you were looking up the type of rings that you know she likes. So the fact that Ben bought a ring your sister will like is sweet because it shows that he is attentive. Just by reading this post, your disdain for Ben is obvious, even though he hasn't done anything wrong. They can use the $10,000 to go on a dream vacation where they will be able to make lifelong memories while your sister also gets a ring that she loves. You say that your sister tends to take his word as the gospel truth. Well why shouldn't she? Has he ever lied to her? It's not like he told her that he bought a ring with a real diamond. You say that you don't trust Ben but your sister is 25 and has been dating Ben since high school. Even if they started dating. When she was a senior, 18 years old, you have known him since you were at least 15. You are 22 now. When are you planning on starting to trust him? It's been more than 7 years. I'm pretty sure that this was written by a troll, but anyway. 
it her for every single bit of this. First, it doesn't matter if she's only been with this guy. That's what she wants to do with her life. You claim your own opinion is sexual freedom, but you don't think she should be free to only be with him? That's weird. It shouldn't bother you. Second, it doesn't matter if the ring is fake, the marriage and proposal isn't. It's not your place to call someone out for not going along with a social guideline you believe is right. This is not your engagement. Again, it shouldn't matter to you. Third, that was really really rude. You ruined their day and embarrassed them. They had no problem at all and no one lied about what that ring was. You're the only one who had an issue. You should apologize and realize that this isn't about you or your opinion. Be happy for them. Itter, ring etiquette is outdated and was literally created to get men to buy bigger diamonds. Lots of couples don't want to waste thousands of pounds on rings or pay money towards blood diamonds. You should never have said anything unless Ben tried saying it was a super expensive real diamond. In which case you should have talked to her completely one on one away from all family. You are 100% the idiot. The ring is to your sister's tastes and she loves it and that's all that matters. It's a major Leon should apologize for policing other people's expenses. The ring wasn't fake, it was an economical, humane, and environmentally ethical alternative to a diamond. Just because it doesn't satisfy your standards doesn't mean it's not acceptable for and cherished by your sister. What a hurtful experience for her when it should have been a moment of celebration and support. Minus 4 months salary? In this economy. Hard pass. Itter. This has absolutely nothing to do with you. Your opinion wasn't warranted or asked for. Just because you're materialistic doesn't mean she has to be. If she likes the ring, she likes the ring. It doesn't matter what it costs. Itter. Under no circumstances is it your business to comment on how much another person's ring costs. You don't like the dude, you clearly think your way of life is superior to your sister's experiences and you were an idiot for no reason. Just because people asterisk HAVE asterisk money does not mean they will spend lots on a ring, wedding, honeymoon or anything else. It's awful that you sit there claiming to be so open minded and worldly, only to then decide you know how another should behave. Apologize to both of them and get off your high horse. Itter and a materialistic snob. Not everybody wants a fortune spent on a stupid ring. I picked out my own damn ring and it cost $80. It's nuts to me that someone so into intimate freedom is so small minded and old fashioned about something like this. Lab made diamonds aren't even fake, Christ. They are a lot more ethical than the ones from the ground though. Ben sounds like he balances sentimentality and pragmatism perfectly and will make an excellent partner. Itta. It is her moment with her true love and you forever ruined it. There are no rules when giving an engagement ring other than the ones the couple getting engaged sets. And from what you are saying, your sister set a ground rule for him to not spend months of wages on a ring for her. Find a way to apologize to your sister and hope she forgives you. Itta and for a number of reasons. An engagement ring should be 3 to 4 months salary. No it shouldn't. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. Especially if your sister isn't even comfortable wearing that amount of money. That whole thing was literally started by the diamond industry as a way to boost prices and artificially inflate their importance. If your sister and her BF works rather have a nice honeymoon, a down payment for a house, or even just money in the bank instead of an expensive ring she's worried she's gonna lose, who the hell are you to tell them they're wrong? Two. It's a lab grown diamond. It's not even real. Oh so it wasn't harvested out of the ground by slave labor? The horror. Maybe the ethics of diamond mining don't mean much to you, but they do to other people. If it's a lab grown, synthetic diamond, it is chemically still a diamond. 3. Screw it, let's do it in front of everyone. That was their moment. That was their spotlight. That was their engagement. You ruined it. Everyone didn't need to know the cost of the ring. It's not important. You embarrassed your sister. You stole her moment. You made an idiot of yourself. Not only are it a, but it's surprising you had to ask. Don't be surprised when you don't get an invite to the wedding. Itter. 
Even before I got to the part where you had your big reveal, I was thinking yeah that'd be an R move. It's none of your business what ring he gives her and the old saw about 3 or 4 months salary is just a jeweler's gimmick to get people to spend more money. I habitually lose things too and have never wanted a high grade watch because I had lost many many cheaper ones. I don't want the guilt and sadness that comes with losing something really valuable.